Hey, 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 time for another out of this world story from our space. My 24 female partner, 24 male, as an office wife, 23 female, and I'm not sure if it is still normal. My boyfriend and I are living together for two years now and in a relationship for five. October last year, he moved to a new company and has a co-worker which I think is his office wife. I'm aware office spouses are pretty common and I already met her, Celeste, in person, and she's genuinely a nice and very kind girl. My boyfriend also does not hide anything from me about Celeste. He even asks for my opinion whenever Celeste asks him questions. This is why I'm in such a dilemma right now. Saying they are very close is an understatement. They are Facebook friends and after their shift at work, they will continue to talk and message her. They send each other gifts for birthdays, Valentine's, Christmas, work anniversary, etc. On one occasion, I even found my boyfriend crying after a call with Celeste. When I asked him what happened, he said Celeste reprimanded him because the report he submitted to her was erroneous. They work at an accounting firm. This is something new because whenever his supervisor gets mad at him for something he did, he would just brush it off and pretend nothing happened. But with Celeste, he would always be sad. My boyfriend and I are both working from home and our workstations are beside each other, so from time to time, I will have a glimpse of their conversation that we use endearing terms such as baby, honey, wife, etc. They will say I love you to each other after a heated argument. My boyfriend also compliments Celeste constantly, like during her video conference meetings. He will message her with their work messaging act saying, you look pretty today, or your blouse suits you. I want to believe that all these are just platonic banters, but I don't know for sure because I, myself, have never had an office husband. They also talk about some sexual things which I think are just jokes. One example I remember is Celeste's preference on foreplay. I'm just asking for confirmation if this kind of relationship is fine with a coworker, or is this something that should be nipped in the butt? One quick comment before we get to the update. Fork and Knife says, This is way outside any boundaries I would expect in a healthy relationship. Talking about how she wants her foreplay is way out of line, especially if she is serving as his supervisor. I would not put up with this. I sure don't understand why it's okay to you. Time for the update. You all helped me realize that my boyfriend's relationship with his office wife is already going out of the line. To make the long story short, my boyfriend and I are having a one month break to gather our thoughts and reflect on a relationship. I am currently staying at my parents' house. If you want to know the full details how we came up with this arrangement, you can continue reading below. After I made the post, I have been finding the perfect timing to have a sit down with my boyfriend. I don't want to break up with him, I really love him, and I am hoping that there is still something we can do. However, Two days ago, I saw that my boyfriend was really upset after their company meeting. I asked him what the problem was and even joked that maybe he and Celeste were having arguments again because I saw that he was talking to her and their company messaging ad. He just shut me down and told me he was not in the mood to talk about it. I understand that and just thought he doesn't want to burden me with his problems at work. At lunchtime, he took a nap and left his fork laptop open with the messaging app active. I didn't mean to snoop, but decided to read his conversation with Celeste, hoping to find out if she was indeed the reason why he was in such a bad mood that morning. She was not. My boyfriend had an argument with his dad, because his dad was planning to divorce his mom, and he was venting out to Celeste. I was devastated. He was asking for comfort from Celeste, while he was not in the mood to talk to me about his family problem. My mind was all over the place. I continued reading their previous conversations and I can't believe what I was reading. On multiple occasions, my boyfriend had jokingly asked Celeste for some nudes, but she had been changing the subject every time. There was also one conversation where my boyfriend was just praising her when they were talking about Celeste's sex experiences, specifically going down on men, saying, You are amazing, I love it, or I like that too. I was already tearing up. Evening came and I gathered all my courage to talk to my boyfriend. I told him how I had glimpses of his conversation with Celeste, and I was hurt that he was calling her baby, or saying he loves her. I didn't tell him that I read their past conversations. He told me those were innocent banters and they are just being playful to ease the stress at work. He also mentioned that he considers Celeste as one of the guys and that I only saw the baby but didn't see those conversations where they call each other homie or dude. I asked him if I can read their conversation, but he hesitated. I was just tired at this point and didn't push for an argument, so I went straight to bed. The next morning, I saw that he was talking to Celeste but when he saw me approaching, he switched to another conversation with another colleague. I told him straight away that I think we need to evaluate our relationship. He was surprised and assured me that nothing was wrong. 
D apologized for yesterday and opened up about the divorce that his dad was planning. I asked him if he is willing to stop the playful talks with Celeste. He said that my request is almost the same thing as asking him to change his personality. For the record, he is a really sweet person and calls me baby or hun. He is also sweet to his female friends, but they are my girlfriends too. So far, he only says I love you to his male friends in his previous work. His close friends were all males. I then told him that I went through his conversation with Celeste and found the talks about nudes and some sexual stuff. He became defensive and told me that Celeste has a boyfriend and that he wasn't attracted to her. I was on the verge of tears and I asked for a one month break, to which he agreed. Alright, a couple more comments before we wrap up this story. The Blue Skylark 8018 says, Nah, don't bother with him. He's clearly more emotional in tune and available to her than you. He prefers her over you and is having an emotional affair and probably a physical one. He asked for nudes for F's sake. What more do you need to realize that, one, he doesn't respect you, two, is cheating on you, and three, there's no saving this. But if you want to stay miserable and constantly wonder what he's doing at the office, by all means, be my guest. He won't stop flirting with her, nor stop asking for nudes. He'll just be better at hiding it. Single War 5 wraps us up. This one month break should change to permanent. His relationship is far from appropriate if anything soured between them and HR ever saw those messages, then your ex would be screwed. Him saying she has a boyfriend and that he isn't attracted to her is just a ploy cheaters use to manipulate people. If he respected her relationship and wasn't attracted to her, then he wouldn't have praised for sexual skills or asked for nudes. Plus, he knew what he was doing is wrong or else he would have willingly showed you their messages and not try to downplay it. Do you really want to be with a man that's cheating on you? On to the next adventure. X rang me yesterday to blame me for his cheating and why his life is so messed up now. I've posted before about what he'd done and how crappy his life has become. Here's the new twist. He's moved to this new woman into his house. He stole his best friend's girlfriend. Shows how much his morals have changed. She has been there seven weeks, and all they have done is fight and play mind games with each other. The deal is that he has the kids Saturday nights. It's one night a week. If he gives me notice, he can change it to a Friday if he has something on. Two weeks ago, he had them like normal, but brought them home about 8 a.m. because he and the new girlfriend were fighting. So he had them from 6 p.m. until 8 a.m. Some really quality time there. Last weekend, he rings Friday night, saying he can't have them because they're fighting again and he was planning on breaking up with her on the Saturday night. He asked if he could have them that night, Friday, instead. I said no, we already have plans to go to a family dinner, and I also had plans on Saturday night with friends. He got very jealous and had to go at me for always having plans. So he had them for about three hours on Saturday morning, and they went to my mom's Saturday night. Yesterday, he rings to say he's having them Saturday during the day again, because once again they're fighting. I basically said, that's fine. I love my kids and I'm happy for them to stay home, but his new relationship is making him a terrible father and it sounds very toxic. At the end of the day, it's the kids who it hurts most. He agreed, but didn't seem to be willing to change the situation at all. About half an hour later, he rang me back saying none of this would have happened if I had shown affection in our relationship. What the F? According to him, he only cheated and we broke up because I showed no affection. He claimed no one will ever want me because of my coldness. It is half true, I wasn't affectionate. He was always either in a bad mood or wanting sex. There was no in between. We had sex daily. Right up until the end, but if I hugged him, in his head, it had to turn into sex. So I just stopped even hugging him because I don't want to have sex every minute or every day. I explained these reasons to him and said no one will want to keep up with his sex addiction in the long run. So it's his relationship that will suffer, not mine. I'm very affectionate when I'm shown love and respect, not treated like a sex doll. I shouldn't have bitten back, but it was just so out of the blue. It was such a weird convo. It's been two and a half years. Whatever helps him sleep in, I'd guess, and justify his crappy choices. Alright, let's see some comments from this weird story. A mom 4555 says, I'm cackling at how karma is kicking your ex's butt. I only hope things improve for the sake of your kids. That don't need to be exposed to his toxic relationships. Aside from that, screw him. He got what was coming to him. Maybe you were cold and unaffectionate because you were tired of being stuck at home with kids while he lived the life of a childless bachelor. Did he ever think of it that way? Of course not, because he's still selfish and self-absorbed. DOP responds, Karma has well and truly given him an ass whipping. So far it hasn't affected the kids too much. They were excited to go to my mom's because they haven't stayed there in a long time. 
If he carries on, it will though. I can't imagine the new relationship lasting too much longer, but who knows. Poking the crazy asks a question. Are you keeping a log of this? So if it ever comes to a custody renegotiation, you have some serious backup? OP answers, I have an app on my phone that records all calls. This is our only method of communication, so everything is recorded through that. Judith Butler closes this out. For real, OP's lawyer should be getting a report about each phone call and handoff. This is a great way to get whatever custody agreement you want. Uh, uh. 